Today we're going to learn how to write an equation of a line in slope-intercept form. Now the slope-intercept form is given by the formula y equals mx plus b, where m is your given slope and b is your y-intercept. Now to give some light on your formula here, every line or every linear equation has its slope and its y-intercept. Now graphically, in this particular example, we have a line and the y-intercept from the word itself is basically the point of intersection of your given line and the y-axis. So your y-axis is your vertical line and your x-axis is your horizontal line. Since we're only looking for the y-intercept, we are working on the point of intersection of your given line to the y-axis. Now, the slope is the steepness of your line. So it could be as steep as this, or a line could also be steep like this form, or it could also be a negative slope, which will give you a line similar to this one. Now, for today, we're just going to concentrate on how to write the equation of a line using this form. Now, several examples of the slope-intercept form of your line will be given as y equal to 3x plus 5, y equals 1 half x minus 5, and y equal to x all over 5 plus x. You need to remember that when we're, when we're writing the equation of a line in this particular form, the y is always by itself equal to an x plus or minus a number. And that's what we're going to be working on today. Now let's start writing an equation of a line given the two important parts of a line which is your slope and your y-intercept. Now for example number one, we have a slope of 7 and the y-intercept of negative 3. So that particular line has the slope in the y-intercept and all we need to do is to write the standard equation or the equation of a line in the slope-intercept form where m is with x and your b is your y-intercept. So by direct substitution, all we need to do is to replace m and b by the given parts. So since we have the slope of 7, we have y equals 7x plus the y-intercept of negative 3, so we have negative 3 written as our constant. Now to further simplify your equation, we can write the slope-intercept form into y equal to 7x minus 3. And this is the equation of a line given the slope in the y-intercept. So if we have example number 2 where in the y-intercept is equal to 0 and the slope is 2 thirds, all we need to do is to replace m and b by its corresponding parts. So since slope is 0, we have 0 as our constant and slope I mean, y-intercept is 0, and the slope is 2 thirds, so we have 2 thirds x. Now, the slope is always with x, so you will never get lost on writing the equation of a line. So if you know that the coefficient has an x variable, you know that this is the slope of your line, and your constant will always be your y-intercept. Now, to further simplify your equation of a line, you can... Just write it as y equal to 2 over x all over 3. So this is another way on how to represent this particular equation in the slope-intercept form. And for number 3, we are given symbols. We have m is equal to 7 and b is equal to 25. And by direct substitution, our equation of a line in the slope-intercept form is y equal to 7x plus 25. And since it's already in simplest form, we don't need to rearrange our values or our parts in our slope-intercept form. And for the last example, we have a slope of 1 and b equal to 32. And by using the slope-intercept form, we have y equals 1x plus 32 or y equals x plus 32. So you need to remember that we usually don't write the coefficient of 1 in every term like so. So we can rewrite it as y equal to x plus 32. 
Now sometimes we need to rewrite a given standard equation of a line into the slope intercept form. So in this example, we have an equation in standard form which is 2y plus 3x equal to 10. Now to rewrite the equation in the slope intercept form, what we need to do is to visualize that our equation of a line should have y by itself equal to a number with x plus b. So in this example, since we have 2y plus 3x is equal to 10, that means we need to get rid of 3x by 2y and get rid of 2 by y. So we need two steps in changing the standard equation of your line into its slope intercept form. And to do that, we need to get rid of 3x by subtracting 3x on both sides. So we'll have 2y equal to negative 3x plus 10. And since y is still with 2, you need to get rid of 2 by dividing all the terms by positive 2. And you'll end up with y equal to negative 3x all over 2 plus 10 over 2. Now since we can still simplify our fraction, we can have our final equation written as y equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 5. And this is your y-intercept form wherein the slope is now negative 3 over 2 with the y-intercept of positive 5. So from the standard equation, now we're able to convert it into the slope-intercept form. And that is how we change the standard equation to the slope-intercept form of a line. So for that, for, I mean, for example number 2, we have 2x minus 3y equal to 9. And since this is also in standard form, we need to change it into the slope-intercept form by subtracting 2x on both sides and dividing 3 or negative 3 on all the terms of your equation, so you'll end up with y equal to 2 thirds x minus 3, wherein your slope is equal to 2 thirds, and your y-intercept is equal to negative 3. And that is how we write our equation in the slope-intercept form.